Welcome to the search for immortality. While immortality elixirs are commonly associated with popular mythologies and cultural traditions, there are several lesser known elixirs from various cultures that are believed to grant eternal life or other extraordinary powers. Here are a few examples Amrita, Hinduism Amrita is a sacred elixir mentioned in Hindu mythology. It is said to grant immortality and divine knowledge to those who consume it. Amrita is believed to have been obtained during the churning of the cosmic ocean by the gods and demons. Nectar of Life, Persian mythology In Persian mythology, there is mention of a divine nectar called Sharbati Hayat, or Nectar of Life. It is said to possess rejuvenating properties and provide longevity and vitality to those who partake in it. White Jade Pills, Taoist Alchemy Taoist Alchemy has various formulations of elixirs, and one such example is the White Jade Pills. These pills, made from rare and precious ingredients, are believed to bestow immortality, enlightenment, and spiritual transcendence. Soma, Vedic mythology Soma is a sacred drink mentioned in the ancient Vedic texts of India. It is considered a divine elixir that confers immortality and connects humans with the gods. Soma is associated with various mystical and transformative qualities, elixir of Shi Wang Mu, Chinese mythology Shi Wang Mu. The Queen Mother of the West in Chinese mythology, is said to possess an elixir that grants eternal youth and immortality. The elixir is often associated with the peaches of immortality, as mentioned earlier, Golden Fleece, Greek mythology While not traditionally considered an elixir, the Golden Fleece from Greek mythology holds mystical qualities. It is associated with extraordinary powers and is believed to possess regenerative properties that could potentially grant immortality, it is important to note that these elixirs exist within mythologies and cultural beliefs, and their existence in the physical world is not scientifically proven. They represent the human fascination with immortality and the quest for eternal life. Providing rich narratives and symbolic meanings within their respective traditions, Amrita, in Hindu mythology, Amrita is a sacred elixir believed to grant immortality and divine knowledge. According to legend, Amrita was obtained during the churning of the cosmic ocean by the gods and demons. Finding Amrita in the physical world is not possible, as it exists in the realm of myth and symbolism. However, if you are interested in connecting with the symbolic and spiritual aspects associated with Amrita, here are a few suggestions, study and reflect on Hindu scriptures, read and study Hindu scriptures such as the Vedas, Upanishads, and Puranas. These texts contain stories and descriptions of Amrita and its significance. Reflecting on the symbolism and teachings related to Amrita can deepen your understanding and spiritual connection, seek spiritual guidance, consult with a knowledgeable spiritual teacher or guide who can provide insights into the mythology and symbolism of Amrita. They can help you explore the philosophical and spiritual aspects associated with the elixir, guiding you on a deeper journey of self-discovery and connection, embrace rituals and offerings, participate in Hindu rituals or ceremonies that honor divine beings associated with Amrita, such as Lord Vishnu or Lord Shiva. Offerings of flowers, fruits, incense, and prayers can help create a sacred space and invoke a deeper connection with the divine and its symbolic representations. Practice meditation and contemplation, engage in regular meditation and contemplative practices to deepen your spiritual connection. During your meditation, you can visualize Amrita as a symbol of divine knowledge, immortality, and spiritual nourishment. Allow yourself to immerse in the symbolism and embrace the qualities represented by Amrita, cultivate virtues and seek inner transformation, the quest for Amrita is often associated with the pursuit of spiritual growth and enlightenment. Focus on cultivating virtues such as compassion, love, truth, and selflessness. Engage in self-reflection, personal growth, and practices that promote inner transformation, ultimately seeking the divine qualities that Amrita represents. Remember, the true essence of Amrita lies in its symbolism and the spiritual teachings it embodies. Rather than searching for physical Amrita, strive to cultivate the qualities and spiritual insights it represents, allowing them to permeate your life and spiritual journey, the nectar of life, the nectar of life, also known as Sharbati Hayat, or the elixir of life, is a mythical elixir associated with Persian mythology. It is said to possess rejuvenating properties and grant longevity and vitality to those who consume it. Finding the physical nectar of life is not possible, as it exists within the realm of mythology and symbolism. 
However, if you are interested in exploring the symbolic and metaphorical aspects of the nectar of life. Here are a few suggestions, study Persian mythology, immerse yourself in Persian mythology and literature, such as the Shanama, Book of Kings, Divani Hafez, Poetry of Hafez, and the works of Rumi. These texts contain stories, poems, and metaphors that delve into the mystical aspects of life and immortality. By studying these works, you can gain insights into the symbolism and spiritual teachings associated with the nectar of life, seek wisdom from Sufi teachings, Sufism, a mystical branch of Islam, often uses symbolic language to describe spiritual concepts. Explore the teachings of Sufi masters and poets like Rumi, Adar, and Hafez. Their works often contain metaphorical references to the nectar of life. Pointing to the transformative power of love, inner awakening, and spiritual enlightenment, engage in spiritual practices, cultivate practices that promote inner growth, self-reflection, and connection with the divine. Meditation, contemplation, and prayer can help you explore the deeper aspects of existence and open yourself to spiritual insights. Seek guidance from Sufi teachers or spiritual guides who can provide insights into the metaphorical aspects of the nectar of life, embrace the symbolism, view the nectar of life as a metaphor for spiritual nourishment, inner awakening, and the quest for immortality of the soul. Reflect on the qualities it represents, such as wisdom, love, compassion, and spiritual transformation. Embrace these qualities in your life, cultivating virtues and seeking personal growth on your spiritual journey, connect with Persian culture, immerse yourself in Persian culture by exploring its art, music, and traditions. Engage with Persian poetry, calligraphy, and traditional practices that reflect the richness of the culture. Participate in celebrations and gatherings that honor Persian traditions, allowing you to connect with the essence of the nectar of life in a cultural context. Remember, the true essence of the nectar of life lies in its symbolic and spiritual significance. Rather than seeking the physical elixir, focus on embodying the qualities it represents and nurturing your spiritual well-being. Allow the symbolism of the nectar of life to inspire you on your path of inner growth, self-discovery, and spiritual awakening. White Jade Pills, the White Jade Pills, also known as Bayou Dan, are a legendary elixir associated with Taoist alchemy and spiritual cultivation. These pills are believed to possess transformative properties, bestowing immortality, enlightenment, and spiritual transcendence. While physically finding the White Jade Pills is not possible, as they exist within the realm of myth and symbolism, you can explore their metaphorical and spiritual significance. Here are a few suggestions. Study Taoist alchemy and philosophy, delve into the teachings and practices of Taoist alchemy, which emphasize inner transformation and the pursuit of spiritual enlightenment. Learn about the symbolic language used in Taoist texts, such as the Tao Te Ching and the Zhuangzi, to gain insights into the concepts and symbolism associated with the white jade pills, seek guidance from a Taoist master, connect with a knowledgeable Taoist teacher or master who can guide you on your spiritual journey. They can provide guidance on Taoist practices, meditation techniques, and principles of inner alchemy. Their insights and teachings can help you understand the metaphorical aspects of the white jade pills and their significance in Taoist philosophy, engage in Taoist practices, embrace Taoist practices such as meditation, qigong, and inner alchemy. These practices focus on cultivating inner harmony, balancing energies, and nurturing spiritual growth. Through regular practice, you can deepen your understanding of Taoist principles and develop a heightened awareness of your inner self, embody Taoist virtues, Taoism places importance on embodying virtues such as simplicity, humility, compassion, and non-attachment. Reflect on these virtues and strive to cultivate them in your daily life. By embracing these qualities, you align yourself with the spiritual ideals symbolized by the white jade pills, explore symbolism and inner transformation, View the white jade pills as a metaphor for inner transformation and spiritual enlightenment. Reflect on the qualities they represent, such as purity, clarity, and spiritual awakening. Engage in self-reflection, introspection, and practices that promote personal growth and spiritual development. Remember, the true essence of the white jade pills lies in their symbolic and spiritual significance rather than their physical existence. Instead of seeking the physical pills, Focus on the inner journey of self-discovery, spiritual growth, and the cultivation of virtues.
The symbolism of the white jade pills can inspire and guide you on the path of inner alchemy and self-transformation. Soma, finding the physical substance known as Soma is not possible, as it exists within the realm of mythology in ancient texts. In Hindu mythology, Soma is a sacred drink associated with divine and transformative properties. It is believed to grant immortality, bestow spiritual enlightenment, and connect humans with the gods. However, if you are interested in exploring the symbolic and spiritual aspects associated with Soma, here are a few suggestions, study Hindu scriptures, immerse yourself in Hindu scriptures, such as the Rigveda and the Upanishads, which contain hymns and verses dedicated to Soma. Explore the symbolic and philosophical interpretations of Soma as a metaphorical representation of divine nectar, spiritual bliss, and the quest for immortality, seek guidance from spiritual teachers, consult with knowledgeable spiritual teachers, gurus, or scholars who can provide insights into the symbolism and significance of Soma. They can guide you in understanding the philosophical and spiritual teachings associated with Soma and its role in Hindu mythology, embrace rituals and offerings, engage in Hindu rituals or ceremonies that honor deities associated with Soma, such as Lord Shiva or Lord Indra. Offerings of water, milk, or other sacred substances can be made, symbolizing the essence of Soma and your intention to connect with its spiritual qualities, practice meditation and contemplation, engage in meditation practices that cultivate inner stillness, heightened awareness, and spiritual connection. During your meditation, visualize Soma as a symbol of divine bliss and enlightenment, allowing its essence to permeate your being and expand your consciousness, cultivate spiritual qualities, Reflect on the virtues and qualities symbolized by Soma, such as purity, wisdom, spiritual awakening, and connection with the divine. Seek to cultivate these qualities in your daily life through acts of kindness, self-reflection, and the pursuit of spiritual growth. Remember, the essence of Soma lies in its symbolic and metaphorical significance rather than its physical manifestation. Instead of seeking the physical drink, Focus on understanding and embodying the spiritual teachings and virtues associated with Soma. Through inner exploration, contemplation, and spiritual practices, you can tap into the transformative qualities and insights that Soma represents. Elixir of Shiwang Mu, finding the physical elixir of Shiwang Mu, also known as the Queen Mother of the West, is not possible as it exists within the realm of mythology and symbolism. Shi Wang Mu is a revered deity in Chinese mythology associated with immortality, wisdom, and the mystical realm. However, if you are interested in exploring the symbolic and spiritual aspects associated with the elixir of Shi Wang Mu, here are a few suggestions. Study Chinese mythology and Taoist alchemy. Immerse yourself in Chinese mythology and Taoist teachings to gain insights into the mythology and symbolism surrounding Shi Wang Mu and the elixir. Explore texts such as the Journey to the West. Taoist alchemical treatises, and philosophical works like the Tao Te Ching and the Zhuangzi, seek guidance from Taoist masters or scholars, connect with knowledgeable Taoist masters, scholars, or practitioners who can provide guidance on the spiritual and symbolic aspects of the elixir of Shiwang Mu. They can offer insights into Taoist practices, inner alchemy, and the pursuit of spiritual immortality, engage in Taoist practices, embrace Taoist practices such as meditation, qigong, and inner alchemy. These practices focus on cultivating inner harmony, balancing energies, and nurturing spiritual growth. By engaging in these practices, you can deepen your understanding of Taoist principles and explore the metaphorical aspects of the elixir of Shiwang Mu, reflect on symbolism and inner transformation, view the elixir of Shiwang Mu as a metaphor for spiritual transformation, immortality of the soul, and the quest for wisdom. Reflect on the qualities and virtues it represents, such as spiritual enlightenment, harmony with nature, and inner alchemical processes. Engage in self-reflection, contemplation, and practices that promote personal growth and spiritual development, connect with Chinese culture and traditions, immerse yourself in Chinese culture by exploring its art, literature, calligraphy, and traditional practices. Participate in festivals or ceremonies that honor Taoist traditions and deities. By connecting with the cultural context, you can gain a deeper appreciation for the symbolism and teachings associated with the elixir of Shiwang Mu. Remember, the true essence of the elixir of Shiwang Mu lies in its symbolic and spiritual significance rather than its physical form. Instead of seeking the physical elixir, focus on the inner journey of self-discovery, spiritual growth, 
and the cultivation of virtues. The symbolism of the elixir of Shiwang Mu can inspire and guide you on the path of inner alchemy and self-transformation, the golden fleece, finding the physical golden fleece, as depicted in Greek mythology, is not possible as it exists within the realm of legend and symbolism. The golden fleece is associated with the epic tale of Jason and the Argonauts, who embarked on a quest to retrieve the fleece from a distant land. However, if you are interested in exploring the symbolic and metaphorical aspects of the golden fleece, here are a few suggestions, study Greek mythology and the story of Jason, immerse yourself in the tales of Greek mythology, particularly the story of Jason and the Argonauts. Read the ancient texts, such as the Argonautica by Apollonius of Rhodes, to understand the symbolism and significance of the Golden Fleece. Explore the heroic journey and the underlying themes of self-discovery and transformation. Reflect on the symbolism of the Golden Fleece. The Golden Fleece symbolizes a coveted and transformative object in Greek mythology. It represents the quest for power, enlightenment, and the overcoming of challenges. Reflect on the qualities associated with the Golden Fleece, such as valor, perseverance, and the pursuit of one's true purpose, seek guidance from scholars or experts, consult with experts or scholars of Greek mythology and symbolism who can provide insights and interpretations related to the Golden Fleece. They can guide you in understanding the deeper meaning behind the legend and help you connect it to your own personal journey, engage in inner exploration and self-discovery, embrace the metaphorical journey represented by the quest for the Golden Fleece. Engage in practices such as meditation, introspection, and self-reflection to explore your own inner landscape and discover the hidden treasures within yourself. Look for ways to cultivate personal growth, uncover your true potential, and overcome obstacles on your own heroic journey, apply the lessons of the Golden Fleece to life, translate the symbolism of the Golden Fleece into practical lessons for your own life. Seek opportunities for personal development, face challenges with courage and determination, and pursue your passions and dreams with unwavering commitment. Embrace the transformative power of the quest and apply it to your own path of self-discovery and fulfillment. Remember, the true essence of the Golden Fleece lies in its symbolic and metaphorical significance rather than its physical existence. Instead of seeking the physical artifact, focus on the inner journey, personal growth, and the lessons that the story of the Golden Fleece offers. The symbolism can inspire and guide you on your own heroic quest for self-discovery and fulfillment. Taoist alchemy, the history of Taoist alchemy dates back thousands of years in ancient China. Taoism, a philosophical and spiritual tradition, developed various schools and practices aimed at achieving spiritual enlightenment, immortality, and harmony with the natural world. Taoist alchemy, also known as Nidan or Inner Alchemy, played a significant role in these pursuits. The origins of Taoist alchemy can be traced to the earliest Taoist texts, such as the Tao Te Ching and the Zhuangzi, which emphasize the cultivation of inner virtues, balance, and harmony. The practice of alchemy in Taoism evolved from these philosophical teachings and merged with ancient Chinese beliefs about health, longevity, and the connection between the human body and the cosmos. In the early stages of Taoist alchemy, practitioners focused on physical methods to preserve health and extend life such as consuming herbs, performing breathing exercises, and engaging in meditative practices. These practices were aimed at maintaining the body's vitality, refining energy, qi, and fostering longevity. Over time, Taoist alchemy became more esoteric and developed into a spiritual and metaphysical system. Inner alchemy aimed to cultivate the three treasures within the human body, jing, essence, qi, energy, and shen, spirit. The goal was not merely physical longevity but also spiritual transformation, the awakening of higher consciousness, and the attainment of immortality. Taoist alchemy employed various practices and techniques, including meditation, visualization, breathing exercises, energy circulation, and the manipulation of inner alchemical substances. Practitioners sought to refine and purify their energy, balance the opposing forces of yin and yang within themselves and align their consciousness with the rhythms of nature. One of the fundamental concepts in Taoist alchemy is the elixir, a metaphorical substance that represents the essence of spiritual cultivation and transformation. The elixir, often symbolized as cinnabar or mercury, represented the alchemical process of refining and transmuting the practitioner's inner energies to attain spiritual enlightenment and immortality. 
Taoist alchemy went through different stages of development and was influenced by various scholars, masters, and schools throughout history. Notable figures include Gu Hong of the Jin Dynasty, who wrote the influential alchemical text, Bio Puzi, Book of the Master Who Embraces Simplicity. And the legendary figures known as the Eight Immortals, who were said to have achieved immortality through the practice of inner alchemy. In later centuries, Taoist alchemy became more secretive and elusive, with knowledge passed down through oral transmission and hidden teachings. Today, while Taoist alchemy remains an integral part of Taoist philosophy and spiritual practices, it is often studied as a historical and philosophical tradition rather than as a literal means to achieve physical immortality. Overall, the history of Taoist alchemy is a testament to the deep philosophical and spiritual traditions of Taoism, offering insights into the quest for self-transformation, spiritual enlightenment, and harmony with the natural world. It represents an intricate and profound system aimed at integrating body, mind, and spirit in the pursuit of inner alchemical transformation and the realization of the Tao. Sufi teachings, Sufism is a mystical and contemplative branch of Islam that emphasizes the pursuit of a direct and personal experience of the divine. Rooted in the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, Sufism seeks to cultivate a deep connection with God and attain spiritual enlightenment through inner transformation, love, and devotion. The essence of Sufism lies in the quest for the union of the individual soul, nafs, with the divine. Central to Sufi teachings are the following key concepts. Divine love, Ishq Sufism places great emphasis on the love of God as the driving force behind the spiritual journey. Sufis believe that the path to enlightenment is through the cultivation of intense love and longing for the divine. This love is not merely an emotional state but a transformative force that purifies the heart and soul. Spiritual journey, Solik Sufism recognizes that the path to spiritual realization requires a journey of self-discovery, purification, and inner transformation. This journey involves seeking closeness to God, letting go of worldly attachments, and striving to embody divine attributes such as compassion, humility, and generosity, remembrance of God, Dikr Dikr. Or the remembrance of God, is a central practice in Sufism. It involves repeating the names of God or sacred phrases, often accompanied by rhythmic breathing or physical movements. Dikr serves as a means to focus the mind, awaken the heart, and attain a state of spiritual presence and mindfulness, spiritual guide, Murshith in Sufism, the guidance and mentorship of a spiritual guide, known as a Murshith or Sheikh, are considered vital. The Murshith provides guidance, support, and teachings to the seeker, helping them navigate the spiritual path and overcome obstacles on the journey to enlightenment, whirling dance, Sama the Sama, or the whirling dance, is a unique form of devotional practice associated with the Mevlavi order of Sufism. Popularly known as the Whirling Dervishes. Through the meditative spinning dance, Sufis seek to attain a state of spiritual ecstasy, transcendence, and union with the divine. Mystical poetry, Sufi teachings are often expressed through the medium of poetry. Sufi poets, such as Rumi, Hafiz, and Adar, have composed beautiful verses that capture the depth of mystical experiences, the longing for union with the divine, and the transformative power of love. Sufi teachings emphasize that the ultimate goal of the spiritual journey is the realization of the unity of existence, the merging of the individual self with the divine, and the experience of divine love and presence in all aspects of life. Sufism teaches that enlightenment and closeness to God are attainable for all, regardless of religious affiliation, and emphasizes the importance of inner sincerity, humility, and service to humanity. It is important to note that Sufism encompasses a diverse range of practices and expressions, and its teachings may vary across different orders and spiritual lineages. However, at the core of Sufi teachings lies the call to embark on a transformative spiritual journey that leads to the direct experience of the divine reality and the fulfillment of the soul's longing for union with God. The Eight Immortals, the Eight Immortals, also known as the Eight Immortal Scholars, are legendary figures from Chinese mythology and folklore. They are revered as spiritual beings who have attained immortality and possess various magical powers. Each of the eight immortals is associated with specific attributes and symbols, and they are often depicted together, interacting and engaging in various adventures. The eight immortals are considered symbols of longevity, wisdom, and spiritual enlightenment. They represent different aspects of human virtues and are revered as sources of inspiration and guidance on the path to spiritual cultivation. 
Their stories have been passed down through oral tradition, literature, and visual arts, making them a significant part of Chinese culture. The Eight Immortals are, Lu Dongbin, considered the leader of the group. Lu Dongbin is depicted as a scholar with a sword. He represents loyalty, righteousness, and spiritual wisdom. He is often portrayed wearing a Taoist robe and holding a fly whisk, symbolizing his mastery over the spiritual realm, Zhongli Quan. Zhongli Quan is often depicted as an old man with a fan. He represents strength, healing, and the power to restore vitality. He is associated with the power to transform stones into precious substances and is believed to possess immense physical strength, Zhang Guolao. Zhang Guolao is depicted as an old man with a drum and a donkey. He symbolizes age and longevity. Zhang Guolao is said to possess the ability to disappear and reappear at will. Riding his magical donkey backwards, Han Xiangzi, Han Xiangzi is portrayed as a young man holding a flute. He is associated with music, joy, and spiritual enlightenment. Han Xiangzi is often depicted with a playful and mischievous demeanor, bringing happiness and harmony to those he encounters. Tai Guai Li, Tai Guai Li is depicted as a ragged beggar with a gourd containing healing medicines. He represents resilience, endurance, and the power of transformation. Despite his appearance, Tai Guai Li is considered a wise and compassionate figure, Chao Guizhou. Chao Guizhou is often depicted as a scholar dressed in official robes. He represents integrity, righteousness, and the pursuit of justice. Chao Guizhou is associated with high moral values and is believed to have the power to repel evil spirits, Lan Saiha. Lan Saiha is portrayed as a gender-fluid figure, sometimes depicted as a young man or a young woman. Often seen carrying a basket of flowers, Lan Saiha symbolizes spontaneity, enlightenment, and the transcendence of societal norms, He Xiangu, He Xiangu is depicted as a young woman holding a lotus flower. She represents purity, grace, and the virtues of compassion and selflessness. He Xiangu is believed to have the power to heal and is associated with spiritual purity, the stories of the eight immortals illustrate their interactions, adventures, and teachings. They are often depicted in paintings, sculptures, and other forms of artwork, and their images are widely recognized throughout East Asia. The Eight Immortals continue to inspire people, serving as symbols of spiritual cultivation, moral values, and the pursuit of enlightenment. They embody the human longing for immortality, wisdom, and the quest for a meaningful and enlightened existence. Ask the gods of the universe for guidance. Good luck on your journey.